Welcome back. MSNB, M MSNBC host Joy Reid blasting Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, calling a photo of him with young black boys at an anti-critical race theory bill signing event, quote, child abuse. But the boys in the photo are actually students in education and mentorship programs created by our next guest. He is demanding Reid apologize for her comments or face a defamation lawsuit. In an open letter, Jack Brewer writes this. Miss Reed's reckless statements placed these kids in danger. Certain people motivated by Reed's comments are furiously trying to figure out their identities. Joining me right now is the man himself. He is former college and NFL football great and the Brewer Group CEO, Jack Brewer. Jack, it's great to see you today. Thanks very much. I know you are furious about this, and I know how important this is to you because we go back a long time. You've been talking about this mentorship group for a long time, and you have so much pride in helping these kids who are fatherless. Tell us what happened. That's right. You know, I was shocked, you know, when, whenever you get an opportunity like this for kids, and our kids in our demographic, the majority of them are fatherless, um, black boys, African-American boys uh, who are really underserved, and we're trying to bridge that gap. But, you know, we brought this to them as a great opportunity to meet the governor of their state, uh, someone who they're going to be able to meet. They could put this on their resumes in the future. Uh, and it really was a joyous moment uh, for our entire organization. And then to have her come at us like that and not our kids and attack them uh, and actually send out her 2.1 million followers to go find our kids, go look for them, uh, and saying that we're committing child abuse, I mean, you can't have anything more hurtful. Uh, it, it brought so much pain to these children because now, you know, their community is asking them and they're claiming that Governor DeSantis is racist, like she put in her tweet. Uh, and so now they're second guessing what's going on. And it's just, it's not right uh, to put children like that at danger. I had to call the local law enforcement officers and increase uh, our security at our center. Uh, we had to watch uh, our kids as they, on their commute, back and forth from their tutoring program and our sports programs. It's just not right. Uh, MSNBC and Joy Reid need to be held accountable. Uh, we expect an apology. I'm not a litigious person. I don't want her money or their money. Uh, but what I do want is for the dignity and respect to be put back to my kids. They don't deserve that. Uh, they are trying to live the American dream. They love this country as we teach them in our program. Uh, and I think they deserve uh, an apology for this. Well, I mean, I know that, you know, you say that these poor children are getting death threats now. We try to black out their faces, you know, uh, uh, make, make their faces blurry so that they would not be obvious on, on television, Jack. W what specifically happened here? And have you heard a response from Joy Reid? Well, I don't, I don't think they've gotten death threats. I hope not anyway. But I, and I, I haven't heard anything back from Joy Reid or MSNBC. Uh, and it's been days now since we initially asked for an apology. We've sent out uh, letters to uh, Joy Reid, MSNBC, uh, also NBC News, and, and all. Uh, I'll be hand deli delivering a letter this weekend once I make it up to New York if we haven't heard back. I'm giving them every opportunity to come and respond and take responsibility for this. You know, Maria, uh, these people go out and, and claim to be for the underserved, claim to be for, you know, African Americans and equity and diversity, and they throw out all these woke terms. But at the end yeah. of the day, the demographic that needs it the most is the fatherless kids in America that make up 71% uh, of high school dropouts, that make up uh, over 2.5 million uh, fatherless kids that are incarcerated. I mean, think about that. Our incarcerated yeah. population, the majority of them are fatherless. And so if you want to have equity and equality and you're really for civil rights, this is the demographic you shouldn't be fighting for. They should be on my side here, yeah. not calling me a child. That's, that's a great point. Well, that's absolutely right. And, you know, you see all of this just, uh, you know, say one thing and do another. There's a new report. Research firm One Nation reveals several Democrat-run states like California, New York, Illinois. They have reallocated COVID relief money to add tenets of critical race theory to public schools. So they're not even using the COVID money the way it's supposed to be used. They're trying to use it so that they could push this critical race theory in schools. 
This is a tragedy for the taxpayer. It's a tragedy for our country. People, critical race theory is real. And when you hear the Democrats or those on the left to describe it, they talk about it as some college-level theory. Well, you know what? These teachers are going to college learning this stuff. Right now, Maria, yeah. when I look at my kids' report cards, they can make a 50 or 60. They make Fs. And their teachers tell them that for them it's satisfactory because they're poor black kids. They're not expected to be able to, to, to go out and attain an, an A or a B. It's so absolutely terrible. ridiculous. Yeah. It happens over and over again. That's why I stand so hard against this critical race theory is because it's really holding right. down the most underserved. We hear the people in Virginia, we hear a lot of Americans, yeah. moms and dads going to these right. student council meetings, but they're not speaking for the underserved because most of these kids yeah. don't have well, parents Jack, involved. You are. You You've been speaking for this group for a long time. Thanks for taking a stand, and thanks for joining me this morning, Jack. Good to see you, as always. Jack Brewer joining God us bless this morning. You, we'll see you Thank soon, you. Jack.